the perfect flight firefly altimeter so yeah altimeter that can for model rockets such as this one that can read um altitude supposedly some other things like speed um so what you do usually you load it into a payload bay uh which would have sampling holes and sampling hole size detailed in the manual so, uh, there you go um now i already have it armed but what you do you turn it on uh and it blinks out the um the altitude as, as you can tell it's very bare bones altimeter there's no like lcd or anything so it has to blink it out then you have to wait 30 seconds for it to get um zero in on the ground pressure um and then it will be armed um and it uses a uh, bps a barometric pressure sensor to find altitude because it like like detecting the change in atmospheric pressure um so how do you test it once it's armed you can cup it into your hands and then you just uh, suck out the air to simulate air pressure dropping which is what i'm going to do And we just one, two. Right, we turn it off, turn it back on again, and it will blink out. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, so around two hundred. 2,287, uh, you can always turn it off and back on again, and it'll blink it out again. So now it's for the next 30 seconds, it'll, ta it'll, t it'll take that time to, again, re-zero in on the ground pressure, and then it'll be armed when it starts blinking. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm gonna put, put this guy into here tomorrow, and we're gonna launch it, and we're gonna give it the first test. Um, so. But you see it's armed now. But I'm not gonna use it now. Okay, so as you might have seen, um, first launch on a B44 motor, it went well. Uh, uh, not particularly high, um, as you'll then see uh, that the uh, altimeter footage for it, it went, um, what was it, like 294 feet, which is fine, 300 feet. That's actually fairly low. I'm surprised. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I feel like it went higher, but I mean, shoot, it should have gone higher. A, a B, on a B motor? Like an A motor takes it to like 300 usually, but I don't know. Um, then you saw on the C motor, it went quite high, but uh, it drifted into the trees. So um, not only is the multi rock gone, but so is that altimeter. Um, and, but yeah, that's just rocketry. Um, this is actually all I have to multi rock. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna really do with this stuff. Just keep it around. It's a souvenir. But, I mean, yeah. What, what can you do, really?